Hey everyone, it's Dev here, and today we're checking out the US West DLC to real VR fishing. I remember trying out this game on the OG Quest actually, at the time it was beautiful and I don't see why it wouldn't be even better now. The dev team approached me with an early access version of this update, funnily enough one of the only ones that actually give me something to try out from the official store, so an elephant never forgets. So this update is an extension of the base game, adding new fishing locations but this time around on the western side of the United States. Alongside that a whole new array of species to catch, whether it would be some common on freshwater ones or apparently even great white sharks. It drops on the December 16th, so basically like two days from now. Last time I played it was about one and a half year ago. Comparing those two versions, graphics wise there was a slight upgrade, it's already known for using the photogrammetry stuff and setting the bar for visuals very high on the store already. The fact that it got even better is a little bit crazy to me. It actually feels more pleasant to play now and I'm not sure if it was due to me not really understanding the mechanics and rules of fishing, but the system might have been reworked over time and I could understand things very clearly even though I have nothing to do with this hobby at all. Before it was just South Korea available to visit, now the world map is much larger and I would be glad to see one day the Europe locations that I might be more familiar with personally. Thanks to the developers for reaching out, definitely had fun playing with it. And let's see what I caught. Who's calling? Welcome to Real VR Fishing. I'm your fishing partner, Mira. First, let's learn how to move in the lobby. You can turn oh, off. it's basically my second time logging into the game, so I have to repeat the tutorial and stuff that changed, but <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So we had South Korea to explore. I was confused where I was going because I don't know any locations there, so I guess I'm gonna be able to recognize more spots here, naturally. The game forces us to go to Yosemite Valley, so let's see. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, that's stunning. <laughs> Something's going on here. Like, I remember this game having photogrammetry and stuff. We have, like, a double layering. Because this mountain and those trees are not together. The mountain looks exactly the same, like I would be literally next to it in real life. That's the quality of it. <laughs> the trees look a little bit blurry, but that's because I guess it's 360 photo. But maybe further away things are more rendered? That's the first time I see things implemented like that. Environment being higher quality from afar, rather than close up here. <laughs> but we have water, ground super high quality, mountains, just the trees, okay. Can't have everything apparently. <laughs> Where are my goggles? What do we have here? I guess you'll like this. Oh, no one's tagging. Take it. Take it. Oh my god, the smallest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Someone stole it from you. No, no, no. Hi. I think that's when my line would break if I... No, be careful. The fish is like shiny and stuff. I'll keep you. You seem fine. So we have 15 fishes here. When do we unlock other locations? I don't remember. Maybe I need to level up to just progress. Oh, you seem hard. It's easy enough to understand what to do. Oh, punch her. Damn you fat. What is coming there? <laughs> A bear? No, don't come here. Is he actually like walking? Yeah, on the environment. Huh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. I'm fishing your food. <laughs> it's a nice addition for a more horror experience. I don't have a right bait for this one. Very picky, aren't you? Oh my god, I don't want those. Oh, stage 2 unlocked. Okay. Lake Tahoe at night. Ooh. I hope this bear won't come here. Let's see. 
Oh wow, it <laughs> even the moon moves. Who are you? <laughs> I got it. Well, the sky looks better in the planetarium applications, that's for sure. At night, it like looks amazing because you can't really see the blurriness in that proximity. I mean, I'm over exaggerating because this application is one of the best graphically on Quest. I'm just comparing to what I've seen in the previous version. I feel like I need to go to the shop to buy some base because I'm getting a lot of red ones. I don't have the crews. So let's see. The other ones are too high level. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Fishes eating other fishes. Or maybe it's for the sharks. Oh, damn it. It's for saltwater. <laughs> None of those like this. What's interesting about the fish info, it says even though you didn't discover what base they take and lure. So that's very helpful, actually. We have some rare ones, epic ones. Damn. Something's biting me in the foot. I don't know what's this. Maybe it's too realistic. I mean, it's good that we're catching those because I'm closing to level 3, which I think means a new way of fishing, which I've never done. Oh wait, a red one interested. Hmm. I don't know if this is the one that got it. Oh, definitely not. I thought red ones don't take the baits that they don't like. Okay. Wait, that's rare. I'm keeping you. <laughs> oh, it was like randomized in terms of baits as well. I guess I got lucky. I don't know. And it disappeared. So it was the red one that took it. So I just need to be more patient than usual. Even though I have wrong food. Okay, good to know. Okay, I think that's gonna be level up. It looks like you mastered the basic skills. Shall we go and learn about lure fishing this time? Yeah. Oh, we know this place. Lure fishing is a fishing method that attracts fish by actively moving a fake bait called a lure. To do lure fishing, you need to per- Good. Now press the B or Y button. The color of the fish shows its preference to the lure you choose. Good. Let- Since a lure is a fake bait, you need to give it some action to track fish. Oh, okay. There are two types of action. Reeling and twitching of the fishing rod. Move the lure around the fish to get its attention. Practice this until a fish bites the lure. Oh, okay, I need to like move a little bit and then stop. Reel at a moderate speed and bring the fish nearby. Oh, <laughs> big. Mm, that's my kind of place. Water and mountains. Again, like the further environment looks more detailed than the closer one. I wonder why it's like that. Oh, a moose. <laughs> no wolves from the behind, please. I'll play a little bit with that. I mean, it claims to be more difficult way of fishing, but it looks more fun than just waiting around. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Okay, something's happening. It's like faster and uh, if you get a hold of the controls, easier. I 
I know you. Where's my rare baby? Here's the little one swimming around. <laughs> well, similar vibe as before. Fun gameplay and stunning visuals, but now with the United States location to discover. I do remember this game being one of the first ones on the store that used this photogrammetry technology with actual gameplay. Now seeing it on Quest 2, because of the resolution and quality, everything seems better, but credit to the OG Quest because it's not that much different and it was great looking at the time already. I mean, it's good every once in a while to calm down, but now I have to go back to my chaos. <laughs>